Hello and welcome to another episode of Bait Focus where today I'm going to take a look at the mainline range of liquid additives. Okay, before we get started, I was just having a think. There's quite a lot of bits and pieces here now and different things that we've covered. So I think maybe it's time that I sort of put a bundle of products and different baits together. Maybe we have a competition, a giveaway, something like that. Put your comments in the comments box below. Tell me what you think. Should I be giving, doing a giveaway? Um, any ideas on how somebody could win a goodie bag of things? Let me know and uh, I'm sure I can put something together and send something out to one lucky winner. Right, back to the product. Today, we're taking a look at the liquid additives and there's four in the range. There's multi-stim, metamino, foss oil and hemp oil. So each of these liquid additives has its own unique flavor, aroma and characteristics. So first off, hemp seed oil really needs no introduction. The attraction of natural hemp seed oils is absolutely massive. You can put it on your spawn mixes, you can put it in any type of bait, it releases to the surface, and it's what gives you that flat spot over the top of your spawn mix when fish are investigating and feeding on lake bed. Next up is foss oil, very similar to hemp oil, only this has got a very fishy-like flavor. It derives from the fish farming industry and it's used to induce fish into feeding. Then you've got metamino, which is a liquid liver amino, and as you can imagine, that's got quite a meaty, savory taste and smell to it. And finally, we got multi-stim, which like all the liquid additives, is made to induce a feeding response in the fish. It appeals to their sensory organs as it diffuses throughout the water column, pulling those fish into your swim and onto your baited areas. So, I can see what you're thinking. This all sounds great, but how the <laughs> do I use them? Well, there's two answers to that. You can either use these products within a bait so incorporate them in a bait that you're making or you can put them on a bait as a coating. Now, in the first instance there, you can use all these products when you're rolling your own baits, whether or not that's boilies or hook baits. There's recommended usage levels on the side of the bottles so you can safely incorporate these liquids into your boilie making or into your hook bait making and give them a background food source level of attraction that's gonna leak off of that bait into the water column and obviously, like I say, is aimed at inducing a feeding response from the fish. Secondly, you can use these products to coat your baits. So you can use these liquids as an additive to your spod mixes, to coat your boilies, any free bait that you might dispatch out into the lake to just give it that extra boost of attraction. A lot of the mainline team like to use these liquid additives within their spod mixes, especially the two oils, just so that they know when those fish come into their swim, start grubbing around and move that oil, particles will rise to the surface, give you that flat spot and that telltale sign that there's fish in your swim. Lawrence East is one angler in particular that's had a tremendous amount of success using oils by injecting them within his solid PVA bags. Again, it's so that you've got this level of attraction rising throughout the water column directly to your hook bait. So in the summer months, when fish are maybe cruising up in the layers, they can pick up on that signal and pull them right down to your hook bait. Because these liquid additives do such a good job at boosting the attraction of your bait, they can make a very good soak for your hook baits. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you won't want to do this. Firstly, if you make your own custom hook baits, maybe you've made your own pop-ups, you can make your own unique dip soak for those hook baits. And it's really simple. What I like to do is just take four capfuls of the multi-stim, add it to an empty pop-up tub, something like that, and then add one capful of the flavor that I've used to make them hook baits. And that gives you a really good hook bait soak which can rejuvenate your hook baits if they've air dried for a long time or if you just simply want to boost their attraction. And then the other reason I might do that is if I'm fishing with zigs and if I'm using foam. It's very good for soaking up flavor and a soak made in that way is brilliant for zig hook baits. So there you go, the liquid additives. Four items there that you've probably seen on the shelves of your tackle shop, wondered what they were for, and I hope we've covered a lot of those questions that you might have had. If you've got any more queries, please put them in the comments box below and we'll do our best to answer them. And I'll also put a link below to some of the bait making recipes that we've got on the website that incorporate these products. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that notification button so you know when the next bait focus is coming out. 
as always, if you don't subscribe already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.